morning everybody welcome back my name is Gina and I am the owner of the Firefly Studio for any of you who are new here welcome uh, and, and for all of you who have, have been with me for years now I appreciate your patience I know it's been a long time since I've done a video and I do apologize for that but I am working hard to try to get some content together and start being more uh, regular again on here I'm trying to, you know, get some journals made, but as you can imagine, with the um, circumstances that we're living in right now, it's to do a full-size journal is really difficult. So I just thought I would just do a little life catch-up with you on what's happening with us. Uh, some of you who have seen our other channel might know we are currently in Michigan. We are doing a work camping uh, for the summer. And so that's keeping us very, very busy. It's much more physical um, than previous work camp because this one is a paid position. So as you can imagine, they obviously expect more from you, which is understandable. But Paul and I are both finding that a real challenge at this stage in our lives um, to be doing such physical manual work. So I do apologize again. But in between, I have been doing some little projects, and um, you may have seen the previous uh, video where I showed you some of my personal journals. I have completed this one now, and I'm pretty close to completing this, so I thought um, what I'll probably do is just break this video up into a couple of shorter ones just so that the download time won't be so long, and I'll, I'll show you flip-throughs of those for those of you that are interested. So this is one of the projects I'm working on. This is a, a kit that I bought years ago. Some of you may have uh, remember this kit. It was a, I believe it's Jessie Coley. I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing that right. It's a, she's a London slow stitcher. Um, I bought this kit before I left the UK and slowly I am working on it. So this will end up as a wall hanging, but you can see I've still got, I want to come back with laces and then I will begin to do the slow, slow stitching within. And then I've got five more blocks, but I'm not sure I'm going to put all of them on here because that's six and I would rather have an odd number and keep one maybe for something something else. But that's how that's coming along. I've got a lot of um, my favorite pieces that I've just had a little bit of fabric like this one. That's probably the last piece like that I've got and this is one I got in a kit and I thought this is just a great way for me to save um, little bits that um, that I just love. I apologize right now guys for the, if there's any shaking in the camera or noise. We are working on the RV roof <laughs> and this is I unfortunately have got to do this while Paul is up on the roof because um, after he's done up there, I've got to jump out and help him with uh, a few other things. So I am so sorry. I know that it's going to be annoying in the background, but please forgive me for that. All right, so this is one thing I've been working on <clears throat> is embroidering the little blocks, and then I'm slowly starting to piece together the background. Okay, so that's one thing. Um, another thing I have done is I picked this up at a thrift store. I've been doing some thrifting, and unfortunately, it's all been put away, so I'm not going to be able to show you guys, but this was a great little find because look at the size of these cards, and I thought these are just going to be perfect for me to alter into some journal cards, which I have begun doing um, right here, as you can see. And I just now need to back this with some coffee dyed papers, but you guys know I do not like dyeing paper. And particularly now that we're in the RV, it's almost impossible to do it because <clears throat> we're off of the lakes here. So there's almost always a wind blowing and the RV is too small for me to do that inside. So, <clears throat> excuse me for my voice, guys. <clears throat> it's early and uh, I'm a bit scratchy. So this I picked up, I guess it's kind of another thing <clears throat> that I thought I can just 
pull out and just do a small project and then even if it means I have to back these down the road if I can't source some coffee dye papers because I have been looking on Etsy so if any of you ladies out there sell coffee papers or tea dyed papers in your shop please let me know and um, because I I just don't have the ability to do it here and time I mean we're working eight hour de days and I just I want my days off are spent you know, as everybody else doing the chores that you missed through the week. So that's another reason I purchased this. And then I intend to alter this when I get settled. Um, there's not much point here in doing it because it would just get messed up. I'm having to just cram things in where I can find space. All right, so what I am currently working on is a, it's called... A, the Katie's World Journal, but it's an Anne of Green Gables themed by Rebecca Hoot. And if you have not seen Rebecca's channel, check her out. She's very different to my style, um, but I'm really enjoying, as you can probably tell from where I've ventured, you know, since leaving my studio, I'm trying to expand into other things but this is just an example of the journal cover that I'm making for it. I picked up this little planner for $1.99 at the thrift store and it had um, the papers. Let me just show you the papers because I've started adding a few things in here but it came with the papers, this lined papers and then like a to-do list. Already here, here it is. Here's a to-do list. Um, and it's new for $1.99, and I thought, well, that's just going to be perfect for altering for this particular um, challenge. So I've started the cover, and I picked up a copy of the Anna Green Gables paperback at the thrift store, and it's got some beautiful images going back to probably very vintage. Um, I was drawn to it, and I'm going to try to stay kind of loose in this, but I can see that I, I mean, you, as you can tell already with the, the cover, it's already starting to go to the, to my, my go-to, the, the vintage, but this is the cover, and I am working, um, I, I haven't done it yet because I still feel like it's needing something, but I want it to still be whimsical. So I think I'm going to have to source some um, other flowers in the background behind her. But that's kind of where I'm going with it. So I'd like to know your thoughts on it. What do you think? Are you liking, you know, how it's looking so far? Um, it, it, it would be nice to know, to have some input. So that's where I'm going with that. And then this is the inside. Let me just show you some of Rebecca's prompts for this. Um, she gives you these free digitals, which I'm so grateful for because uh, I have nothing like this. It's just, like I said, it's very fun, very colorful, and so different to know how I would normally create. So I've printed out off these, and you'll see as I go through this, I've used a few of them. Uh, I have not progressed as far as she has, but do check out her channel. It's Rebecca Hoot, and this is called the Katie's World uh, Journal. So going inside, um, this is one of the little cutouts she gives you, and I've just backed it with some papers that I picked up from the Hobby Lobby and added some things, a charm and so on. And this little planner had a couple of... Um, dividers and I just left them in there because I'm just not going to get stuck on any one um, design. I'm just going to mix this up and have fun with it. I'm really enjoying not having to be within uh, the restrictions of a theme. And, in, and this was the first thing I made. And this was um, one of the images from that book I picked up. But isn't it sweet? And, of course, I used one of the cards, but I now would like to back that with some 
coffee dyed paper so I can do some journaling on this challenge. And then um, we were involved in a journal, um, sorry, a button swap. Um, and she gave us a, she gave us a couple of names of ladies, and I had three ladies, and all of their names were Michelle. Um, so I just made each person um, a little tag like this with a button that I chose for them, um, and then I had altered a playing card, and I made a little pocket, and that was my little. Um, button swap for them I and I hope that they liked it <laughs> because um, I started to send this out but I thought oh I don't know because she, it's so different to Rebecca's style and so in the end I decided not to I mean I did do them all in very vintage but I thought a playing card is small enough that they could just tuck in a pocket because not everybody likes the, the vintage so so there, that was my thinking behind that. And this, I'm just tucking it in here for now, but that is going to eventually go um, <clears throat> into the journal. I have, like I said, not gotten far at all with this. I made the cover maybe uh, two weeks ago, and last night I sat down and I just started adding a few bits and pieces. And... Um, here and there. And this was actually from another uh, project, and this is just a button paper clip. These were some cards I thrifted and got them for 25 cents each, and I just thought, eh, I'm just going to put it in there. It's another writing space. All I'm going to do here is just cover this so that you don't see the birthday. And then on the back, I'll cover this with something for writing. So, as I said, I have not gotten far at all with this, um, and I'm not going to put the pressure on myself because I, I'm just not. It, at this point in life, no. It'll, it'll happen when it happens. I love, love, love this card. It seems to me as though that would be a space, if you take that off, that Anne would have sat at... Um, drinking a cup of tea and maybe reading a paper and I just loved it. I thought it went perfect with this and again I will cover these bits up eventually. These to-do lists I am just going to use as templates and those will eventually be either coffee dyed papers or um, something it doesn't this isn't me I don't like that um, or maybe even I'll just cover this portion of it and keep the lined part just to journal in. That's kind of my thinking. Um, this was given to me in a happy mail and I love that and evidently this is from one of those flow journals which is super cool because I've never actually owned one or not journal, it, it, I think it's a flow magazine but I've never owned one um, but I can see that that must have come from it. So here is one of the portions that I used some of Rebecca's images on and then I just added some little stickers from that I purchased from the Hobby Lobby last year in that clearance or I say last year it was actually only a few months ago I, I lose track of time now because so much happens for us in a very short period of time that it's very difficult for me to keep up, guys, so I apologize for that. So that's where I am. Uh, this is just another little page. I used another image. Yeah, it's some of the stuff I, I'm happy with, some of them not. This isn't great. I'm not mad on it, but I'm going to leave it in there because I think that is part of the journaling process is just stop looking for perfection and just go with it and and it'll be fun I think down the road to come back and see how I feel about it because I've even um, done that within these journals that I'm about to share with you now um, it's so cool to go back and things that maybe I didn't like before I'm finding actually uh, now I'm, I'm really enjoying it So, guys, I'm going to stop that now, 
if you're inclined to stick around, this will be um, a part two and a part three if you want to see these. So thank you guys for joining me uh, today and just catching up on what's going on. I know a lot of people contact me um, through various forms to see how I'm doing. We're still here and... Um, it's just like so many people, you know, your focus has to be um, elsewhere for the, for the time being. I'm still hoping <laughs> and that I end up with a studio very soon. I'm missing it. Um, the excitement of this lifestyle is, is, I'm not enjoying it now as much as I was because it's, it's taken a turn. It's not an adventure now. Um, it's it's just working to make ends meet, and I'm just hoping that something happens that will turn things around and make it possible for us to purchase a home with a little bit of land very soon. Um, so that's where I'm at with it, guys. I I still go out and thrift. I I set myself on you know a budget. I, I allow myself ten dollars a week. And I'm still finding things that I think, oh, that's going to be perfect in my studio. Um, and, of course, you know, we're still a few months away from getting back down to Florida. But when I do, I've got a lot to unload again because I see things and I just think, oh, I just can't pass it up. And I'm so excited to get a studio back up and share with you guys um, because I, I like to share the story behind things that I find along the journey and um, and I'm, it just it just really gives me hope that it's not going to always be like this um, that it will you know things will work out so thank you guys for joining me I hope you all are well and safe and enjoying the summer um, and I will be back very soon hopefully with some tutorials I'm working hard to make that time for um, for you guys and to share some, some little projects with you. So thank you again, and stay tuned for you, those of you that want to see my own personal journals inside. See you soon. Bye-bye.